Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. Welcome to the Bible for Busy People podcast. I'm Jen in for Erica this week, and we're on day two of Exploring Anxiety. I have a photo of a flower hanging on my fridge, and on it, a quote by Martha Tennyson that says, We only trust people we know. If you're struggling to trust God, it may be because you don't know God. Whoa, that hits me right in the feels. You know, I received this as a take-home item from some women's event, and it's been on my fridge ever since because it holds a power-packed, truth-filled punch that I'd be wise to not soon forget. Let's read Proverbs 3, 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Psalms 46, 10. Be still. Know that I am God. Psalms 9, 10. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Isaiah 26, 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Man, aren't those great scriptures? And by the way, write these down because they're great for memorizing. So, trust is key. And it makes sense that we only trust people we know. On the other hand, sometimes, because we know people, we don't trust them. I think that's one of the reasons the quote on my fridge stands out to me. I know God. He's never let me down, not even once. Even when I thought he was letting me down, it's only because I'm finite and I didn't know the full picture. When I let God lead, things always turn out better for me and those I love. So why on earth would I ever let worry reign in my heart and mind, taking over the place of confident trust and faith that my Savior holds me and my whole world in His capable hands? I think the answer's clear. When you stop spending ample time with people, you begin to forget or take for granted all the special things about them. Think about it. When you finally see a friend you haven't spent time with in years, you think to yourself as you're both drinking coffee in your favorite shop, oh man, I forgot how contagious their laugh is. Or when you haven't had your mom's casserole in a long time, you savor it and remember how comforting it is to eat her cooking. Or when you're cleaning out a closet and you find an old box full of past birthday cards, you read them and remember what dear friends you've been blessed with. All it takes to reignite these memories is contact. Spend time with your Jesus. You're doing that right now by listening to this podcast. Ask the Holy Spirit to remind you of all He's done for you. Read his word and see how he's come through for his people time and again. Pray to him and pour out your heart and see if he would ever abuse the privilege of being the one you run to. He would not. He has not. So before we go today, consider this. Where have you been struggling to trust God? How does it make you feel to learn your distrust is maybe due to not knowing him? How can you personally cultivate trust in God today? See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Bible for Busy People. I really enjoy our time together studying God's Word, and I'd love to get to know you. If you ever want to connect, feel free to email me at erica at purposely.com. We're a growing community, and you are welcome here wherever you are in your faith walk. Maybe you're ready to say yes to Jesus and to accept His love and forgiveness. You'll be starting the best journey of your life, or maybe you need someone to pray for you. Check out our show notes for more encouragement. Behind every good thing, there are amazing people who are using their time and talents to make it happen. Thank you to the dream team that makes this podcast possible. Debbie, Donna, and Rebecca, y'all are not only rock star colleagues, but dear friends. I love y'all. The Bible for Busy People is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose. And you are loved.